I was vlogging the other evening, walking through a parking lot with my arm at half length like this, talking to myself, when a passing car yells, I love your p Oh. First of all, no. May I just point out the obvious and say that you don't even know my name, sir. There's no way you have any knowledge about my anatomy. I don't bring it up because it happened, I bring it up because of the thought process I had after the event. I found it kind of interesting. Let's imagine you're the fellow in the car. Oh, you're having a great time, you've got the evening breeze in your hair, your friends driving you around at sunset, and then you see someone in t-shirt and jeans with their arms sticking out, talking to themselves and being wildly animated in the middle of a parking lot. And that's where I lose him. What about that situation ignited the idea to yell, I love you, Because I'm pretty sure I wasn't giving off the you hoo kind of vibe. There was nothing sexy about my baggy jeans, ill-fitting t-shirt and half fallen out, I don't give a shit ponytail thing. So I have come to the conclusion that his falsified statement has absolutely nothing to do with lady parts whatsoever. He knew I was vlogging. That I was actually filming something, not taking a picture, not on a phone call. Filming. He figured out from his position in a passing car in half light that I was vlogging. Which means he probably watches vlogs because he understands how vloggers vlog. That's a lot of intraspecific information to bring up in your mind in a nanosecond in order to formulate a perfectly accurate generic background video forming outburst. <laughs> what I should really say is bravo, you perv. You have successfully contributed to the worldwide vlogging experience. You know, as that guy that yells profanity to young ladies in parking lots. Oh, and by the way, I carry mace.